Alright, our first video, the big simps in cartoons, you know, the ones that are, oh, 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 there's a girl, there's a girl, I really like this girl. Yeah, let's get into it. Now bad cartoon characters. As most of you may know, there was a lot of simping going on in the cartoons. In literally every single cartoon that I watched growing up, there was a simp, like without fail. So we're going to talk about the most down bad cartoon characters in today's video. Take a trip down memory lane. I figured we'd start off with none other than Eugene Krabs himself. Nah, bro, this guy ain't a simp. He only simps for Mrs. Puff at one point. You know, he loves his dirty money that he probably gets from selling cocaine, meth, crabs. Bro, he's a millionaire and just loves, just loves his money. Bro, like, we get it, you're excessive, but still. Ballin', of course, like, he's rolling in dough. He really got it like that. But guess what? Guess what got in the way of the grind set? Mrs. Puff, bro. And this dude was the richest in Bikini Bottom. He was cooking up. He was unstoppable. It was just extremely painful to watch, you know? He just bent over backwards for Mrs. Puff. Now, I don't know what made Mr. Krabs do this, but I guess he wanted to take Mrs. Puff out to a... Mrs. Puff, bro! She like um, a, a what's it called thingy? The puffer fish. Yeah, she a big fat puffer fish, bro. Why would you want to take her out? You're a rich crab. She's obviously using you, bro. For all these services that probably cost him more than a band. Mr. Krabs, it's day number one. Calm down. You don't even know if you got the bag secured yet. Or maybe he can wipe his ass with a rat. Never mind, he screamed when he saw the bill. <laughs> Mordecai, this dude. Nah, nah, Mordecai is the most down bad simp I've ever seen. Now, this is be Mordecai. <sighs> Rigby, I, I can't get Margaret, bro. She doesn't like me. Then stop trying if she don't like you. Oh, what did you say? You know what? <laughs> Dead. Bro kills his best friend over a girl that don't even like him. Like, that's just down bad, bro. Imagine sniffing a girl's hoodie, and you are like, Oh, it's in the laundry room. She left it here for me. Like, okay, bro, no, no, that that, that was not the case. I promise you. She went on a date. Yo, I call pedophilia over here. I've been calling a stalker vibes, you know? Like, you paid for it. Mordecai. Come on, bro, what are you doing? Whenever presented with a simp in cartoons, I think a lot of us already automatically think of Mordecai. He's pretty much just like textbook of what not to do. I'm not saying I'm an alpha male or chat or anything like that. Don't pay for a date that someone else is going on with a girl that you like. That's just next level down bad. And Mordecai ain't got money like that. He ain't walking in riches. Mordecai and Rigby were bums from what I remember, so clearly they're not walking in riches like that. And we cannot forget that this man wrote an entire song about Margaret and was singing about how hot she was. I can't believe how hot she is. Makes my insides feel like not it's. Yo! Nah, nah, those are some bum lyrics, bro. Those are some trash. Kane re listening to that song again. Holy hell. And I can't tell you how many times this man has been down bad over Margaret. But no matter what, Rigby was always there to cheer him up, bro. Rigby a go, even though he's kind of a bum. Next up, we got Bling Bling Boy. Now, this dude was rich as hell and was doing everything. Bro's a stripper. Bro's a short, fat stripper. Oh my god. I am Paul, one of Johnny Test's sisters. I think it was Susie. This dude really had his team develop like an entire software to be like, oh, why you can't date Susan Test? Wow, bro. I, I can't believe this man is so. Bro literally tried to make inventions to try and force someone to love him. Bro, let me make a potion. Yeah, th this didn't work. I'm being beat by a 12-year-old because I can't date his sister. Boo-hoo. Get over it. <laughs> oh, my. I know it's just a cartoon show, but holy hell, sometimes it just began me heated that they'd be so dumb like that. And even worse, bro, this dude would blow his racks on inventions and shit like that to try and get her to go on dates. But if she doesn't even want to be there, bro, it's an L for you to begin with because she's never going on a second date again. You just blew all that money for nothing. Well, you might as well just burn the money at that point. Or use it as goddamn tissues when you're going to be crying in the club later. But nah, bro, I ain't going to let the test sister slide, bro. They be simping for that one dude. I think his name was Gil or something like that. Now, next up, we got Tom, bro. Now, this... Nah, nah, Tom's is the darkest. 
Bro fell so in love with the girl, got depressed, and then kills himself. That's just next level depressing. Unfortunately, he's blowing racks that he didn't even have. Like, Tom really bought her a whole perfume bottle. Look at her, she's just unfazed by it all. And this dude, Tom's competition, Tom's number one op, Butch, comes in with a whole ass perfume truck. It's safe to say that, bro. No matter what Tom does, this girl is just not gonna appreciate him. And some advice for the fellas out there. There, bro find a girl that will appreciate the, anything that you get for her no matter the cost if you're on the hunt for some high maintenance girls like tom over here you just go get your ass played bro if some dude has more money than you you're fucked and now tom spends his last pennies on this ring in this episode blue cat blues this dude bought her like the world's smallest diamond unfortunately that's a diamond Bro, that is so tiny, bro. How down bad are you? We get it. You're a simp. Well, bro, you don't gotta be this down bad for that. Unfortunately, that's all he could afford. Butch bought her this big ass diamond, and unfortunately, I think it's wraps for Tom. And you pull up in this goofy ass car like that's gonna change anything? Nah, dog, you can still go get played. Butch about to pull up in a big ass limo, bro. You're done for. Your goofy ass car's going to shreds, buddy. And after that, it gets pretty dark. My boy Tom starts going through heartache. But that doesn't excuse Butch. Butch is kind of a simp, too. In the episode Casanova Cat, bro, they were fighting over this girl. Same girl, I think. Nah, she's a gold digger, bro. She's a gold digger. She gonna just scam both y'all. She using y'all for the money like Mr. Crab. They ended up kissing each other. Y yeah, that's that's just tough. And in the end, Jerry took the dub. And honestly, that's how it should be. Now next up, we got Robin. This dude would do the most to get attention from Starfire. Didn't matter what it was. Like in one episode of Teen Titans Go, this oh, what what is this? No, that's a furry. That is a furry, bro. Nah, not the cat costume, the little, Hi, my name is Dish, bro. Will you take me to my owner? Meow. Nah, you so down bad. Let's go, this dude literally became a cat to get attention from Starfire. Like, this dude would do anything, bro. He was so desperate. This man practically sold his dignity. Like, come on, bro. This dude actually became a furry. They did Robin so foul in Teen Titans Go. I mean, the show's kind of booty. I'm not gonna lie. The old Teen Titans will forever be superior, but, bro, they made Robin the most down bad simp on the planet for Starfire. I cannot tell you how many times this man came up with a devious-ass plan to try to get Starfire. That failed. Miserable. Nah, not the... Ooh, uh, she broke up with me. Let me eat gallons of ice cream to make all the pain go away. Oh yeah, and then you suffer brain freeze, then you get diabetes, and then you die because you got diabetes because you getting depressed over a girl. Real nice bozo. This dude failed miserably, it just made me cringe. And looking back on it, I'm like, damn, this show is kind of booty compared to the original. Next up, we got Candace. Now, Candace in Phineas and Ferb was simping for Jeremy. Candace was on some stalker type shit, bro. She would do the most just to see him. Like, she got a job right near... Girl's a stalker, but first, why is this man got a weenie on his head? Bro is wearing a weenie. I get it's your job, but that looks so stupid. Threw a picture of him and took a picture of his face and stapled it onto a teddy bear. If that is a next level stalker, I don't know what is. But somehow, she ended up getting the dub at the end, which makes absolutely no sense. Like, I'm, I just, I'm in disbelief. If somebody did that in real life, it would not work out. And I think that goes without saying. Now, let's talk about Morty. Now, I don't really know much about Morty. I never really watched the show Rick and Morty, but a lot of other people made videos on this topic, so I was like, like, alright, you know what? I gotta mention him, at least. Because this man w Bro. Dude, I don't even- How do I even describe Morty? Hey, Morty! We're going on an adventure! We're gonna go- uh, We're gonna go get lightsabers from Darth Vader, and, uh, we're gonna go get some shish ones, uh, fellow me to McDonald's. One girl. I don't even know what her name was, honestly. But this dude made the entire planet love him when he was trying to make this girl love him. Why did he do that? Honestly, I- I really don't know. Because of that, they had to destroy that entire universe just for this girl. That's crazy. Next up, we gotta talk about Greg Heffley. Now, this dude is from a goofy, uh, animated movie now, so I guess I can talk about it. Now, Greg would do the most for this one girl, Holly. This dude was literally like her personal butler at her lifeguard job. He would just sit there all day, and he would, like, refill her water. 
Bro's like, bro, this girl's 16 and I'm 13. I need to get her. I need to look cool. So let me pretend while I'm in middle school, still wearing diapers, to pretend that I'm dating a high schooler who's hotter and better looking than me. Winning. And he would even try to make lame ass jokes. Like he would point at a pregnant lady and say like why she shouldn't even be wearing a bathing suit. Like bro, you're just lame. Like why don't you just talk to her like a regular person? And this man wrote an entire poem for a girl that he didn't even know. And it was kind of questionable. Like I, I don't even think I have to read it. I can just put it up on screen and you would know. And we cannot forget, this dude broke his friend Rowley's arm, right? And as soon as he saw that he was getting attention from girls, bro, like Rowley was getting all the bitches for real he was like um guys i was the one who broke his arm actually bro you're scaring the hoes like and he would try to use rally as his wingman or some shit too like one time he was standing in the corner and rally was like yeah i heard this guy greg has big muscles and he was just there oh yeah you got big muscles yo twig arms bro those ain't big those are puny those are weak you want some muscle bro I will show you some muscle. Brother, this is muscle. Yo, yo, tiny little arms are not no muscle. And like, I don't think I see a single muscle on your entire body, Greg. Look at you. This dude is practically skin and bones. Like, what muscles are you talking about, Greg? I mean, not only that, like, Greg was just an L friend in general. He would just use rally all the time. But next up, we got to talk about Timmy Turner, man. This dude would get bullied by his crush. Bullied! Like, how do you let that happen? And he still liked her, which made absolutely no sense. Like, bro, just move on. He had the greatest power of existence, bro. He can make the girls appear like nothing. But somehow this man was just making them disappear, which makes absolutely no sense. But this dude did the same thing as Morty. He made every girl on the planet have a crush on him. Like, obviously... Yeah, but Timmy also didn't have his con... Not his country. The entire... Earth nuked and destroyed. He was at least able to fix the problem on Earth. Morty just straight up ruined an entire galaxy. It's just not gonna work in your favor, bro. Like, I don't even know why he would even try that. That's how we gotta talk about Finn, bro. Now, Finn, yeah, this dude kept a piece of Princess Bubblegum's hair. Like, I don't really think I gotta say much around the topic. In one episode, he was crying in front of a picture frame of Princess Bubblegum and holding a lock of her hair when he realized he wasn't getting the same affection and attention back from her. Tough, bro. I mean, you just gotta move on. Like, I mean, it is what it is. But despite this, he still tried to get her which makes absolutely no sense i don't know why you kept even trying at that point and plus i don't even know if anybody pointed this out but there was a huge age difference between them so obviously finn is just not taking the dub that's not happening now we got to talk about gumball and now nah, i swear these two are gay for each other these two are gay for each other i promise you i i'm not gonna watch this part because i already know they gay for each other guaranteed but that's gonna be the end of the video i hope you enjoyed and to anyone in my class that watched this, what's up?